Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the first Sunday of Advent. This Sunday is the first day of this new liturgical year. This is New Year's Day, so to say, in our calendar of the faith. And so the Word of God for us for this Sunday is be prepared. The preparation is always being repeated to us in our Christian existence because our life is a journey. Our life is a pilgrimage. We are walking towards an encounter with the Lord. And this encounter with the Lord, this going to God, this meeting with God is to be prepared for in our daily life. The, it, the, very, the very beginning of the first reading says, in those days, in those days people will, will go to the house of the Lord. In those days people will flock towards the Lord and they will say, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. So in those days, it is, this, is a, this is a prophecy for the time to come, the day of the Lord. And so in the gospel, here comes the Lord Jesus already speaking. The Lord has come. But then, yes, we believe He will come again. In the in-between, there is also our dying, our meeting with the Lord. And He will judge us in these ways of encountering the Lord. The Old Testament people, they prepared for the coming of the Lord. Some were able to profess faith in Him. Some rejected Him. In our life, we are also being told, being, being called, are we going to believe and accept Him truly as Jesus Christ, the Messiah, our King and Lord, our Redeemer? Or, okay, we accept Him and then don't actually do something about it. We live our life the way we want to live our life and it is as if it is not connected to our belief in God. The end, the destiny, and, and the second coming. What is that for us? Does the second coming has a rela relational consequence to our daily life? Many times we don't even think of that. That is why in the gospel, Jesus says, be prepared because you do not know the day or the hour. And that is why there will be people who would not be prepared. And therefore, there will be a consequence as well to their lives for this first Sunday of Advent. What do we really have to prepare in our life? The second reading is a hint. The day is at hand. The night is far spent. Let us now be awake. And so we have to put on Christ and give no provisions for the desires of the flesh. We have therefore now to cast out the works of darkness. You see, this language is to confront our own lives, to confront our inclination to sin to confront our mannerisms, our attitudes that are not coherent to gospel teachings. And so this first Sunday of Advent, ask, let us ask ourselves, what kind of thoughts do we have about Christmas? What, do, what does the coming of the Lord mean to us, to you personally? Because it will change our way of life, our way of thinking, if we truly personalize what the Word of God in the Scriptures is telling us. Therefore, let us see to it that we have a meaningful Advent journey beginning this Sunday so that we truly will take care of our preparation for Christmas, 
But at the same time, let this be the model of the preparation also that we are doing daily as we are foresee the future of our encounter with Him. And let this preparation now again be a renewal during this journey of Advent season. God bless and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.